If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You can import photos directly into the organizer in Photoshop Elements from a camera or card reader. To do this, first connect your camera or card reader to your computer. In the Photoshop Elements Organizer window, then select File, Get Photos and Videos from Camera or Card Reader from the menu bar. Alternatively, click the Import drop-down button at the left end of the shortcuts bar, and then select the From Camera or Card Reader command. After performing either action, the Photo Downloader dialog box then opens. Use the Get Photos From drop-down in the Source section at the top of this dialog box to select the name of the camera or card reader that contains the photos to import. Then choose the Import Settings to use for importing the photos from the selected source within the Import Settings section in this dialog box. The Location field shows the name of the folder in your computer to which the photos will be imported. To change the folder location, click the Adjacent Browse button to open a Select Directory to Store Files dialog box where you can navigate to the folder within which you want to store the photos. Click the folder you want to set as the Destination Folder within this dialog box, and then click the Select Folder button at the bottom of this dialog box to set the selected folder as the new destination. The Create Subfolders field lets you specify the name of the subfolder or subfolders to create within the selected destination folder when importing the photos from the selected source. It defaults to creating subfolders within the selected folder based on the shot date of the photos using the date format of 4-digit year, 2-digit month, 2-digit day. You can use the top drop-down to select an alternate choice if desired. To not create subfolders within the selected destination folder, choose None from the drop-down menu. To create a custom subfolder name, select the Custom Name Choice from the drop-down menu, and then enter the custom subfolder name into the field immediately below the drop-down that says Enter Custom Name Here. You can also choose Today's Date in a 4-digit year, 2-digit month, 2-digit day choice from the drop-down menu to use Today's Date for the name of the subfolder or you can select an alternate date format based on one of the shot date choices shown in the drop-down menu. The Rename Files field lets you rename the photos and videos as you import them into Photoshop Elements. You can use the Rename Files drop-down to select the pattern to use when renaming the imported files. To not rename the files, select the Do Not Rename Files choice from the drop-down menu. Otherwise, select a renaming format to use from the drop-down menu of choices. If you select any pattern that uses the custom name choice, then enter the custom name to use into the field immediately below the drop-down menu. If you make a renaming choice from this drop-down menu, be sure to enter the default number to assign as the starting number for renamed files into the number field that appears below and to the right of the drop-down menu. The number assigned to each photo imported increases consecutively from the starting number you enter. To perform an advanced renaming of the imported files, select the Advanced Rename Choice from the Rename Files drop-down menu to open the Advanced Rename dialog box. This dialog box shows four elements by default that are used to create the new file names. To delete an element, click the small minus button at the far right end of that element's row. To add a new element below an existing element, Click the small plus sign button at the right end of the element beneath which to add the new element. To set the value for each element, use the drop down at the far left end to select an element type. Then enter any custom values into the fields that appear to the right, or use the adjacent drop downs that appear to the right to refine the naming convention for that element. In the Options section, you can check the checkboxes for any operating system for which you want to maintain compatibility when renaming files. In the Preview section, the Current File Name and New File Name fields show you the current file name of a selected file and the new file name created by using your designated renaming conventions. When the preview of the file name looks correct, click the OK button at the right side of the Advanced Rename dialog box to return to the Photo Downloader dialog box.
In the Photo Downloader dialog box, you should see an example of the file name used for renaming the imported files if selected in the Rename Files section. To preserve the current file name of the imported files in the XMP metadata, check the Preserve Current File Name in XMP checkbox in the Rename Files section. In the Delete Options section, use the drop-down to select an option for deleting originals from the selected source. At that point, to import all of the files from the selected source, click the Get Media button at the bottom of the Photo Downloader dialog box. However, to only import selected files from the selected source, or adjust the import settings of the selected files, you can instead click the Advanced dialog button in the lower left corner of the Photo Downloader dialog box to open the Advanced view of this dialog box. When using the advanced view of the dialog box, you can apply additional settings to the imported files. This view contains all the options in the standard view and many more. If you do not need to apply any advanced settings, then you can click the standard dialog button in the lower left corner of the dialog box to return to the standard view of the dialog box. In the advanced dialog view, you can see the photos and videos selected for import in the large scrollable preview area at the left side of this dialog box. If there are files you do not want to import, you can click the checkbox shown below the preview of the file you do not want to import to remove the check mark from the checkbox. You can also click the check all or uncheck all buttons at the bottom of the preview pane to help you select the photos to import. Any photos or videos to import must be marked with a check mark in the checkbox shown below the preview image and to the right of the file name. You can also easily filter the view to show only images or videos by clicking the types of files to show or hide in the preview area, which are represented by buttons at the top of the preview area. Hidden file types will also not be imported into Photoshop Elements. Note that you can always see the number of files to import, shown as the number of files selected in the source section at the top of this dialog box. You can also import selected items into custom subfolder groups using the advanced view. To do this, select Custom Groups Advanced from the Create Subfolders drop-down menu towards the upper right side of this dialog box. Then use the Group Name drop-down that appears below that to select the basis of the group names. If selecting a date format, you can use the slider in this area to determine the number of groups to create based on your naming selection. To enter custom names for each group, select Custom Name from the Group Name drop-down menu and then click into the Group Name label in the upper right corner of each grouping within the preview area to type a new name for each group. To rotate an image before importing it into the organizer, click the preview of the image file in this dialog box to select it. Then click the Rotate Right or Rotate Left buttons in the lower left corner of the preview area until the selected preview of the image file displays the desired rotation. To apply Advanced Options to all the selected photos when importing them, expand the Advanced Options section at the right side of this dialog box if needed. Then check any checkboxes for the advanced settings to apply to the selected photos. The available settings are Automatically Fix Red Eyes, Automatically Suggest Photo Stacks, Automatically Stack RAW and JPEG, and Import into Album. If you select the Import into Album checkbox, then click the Adjacent Settings button to open a Select an Album dialog box where you can click the name of the album you want to select, and then click the OK button. Creating and managing albums is discussed later in this course. To apply metadata to the selected photos when importing them, click the Template to Use drop-down in the Apply Metadata section at the right side of this dialog box to select Basic Metadata. Then enter the desired metadata into the Creator and Copyright fields. After applying any advanced settings in the advanced view of the Photo Downloader dialog box, 
Click the Get Media button in the lower right corner of the dialog box to import the selected files into Photoshop Elements. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.